February 24th, four people from Cincinnati, Darren Elliott, Ian Overton, Stephanie Kidwell, and Amanda Meyer, are about to be arrested by troopers on I-475 near Toledo after they were stopped for speeding. Well, thank you, everyone. Put their hands up on the seat for me. Inside the car, troopers find more than 10 pounds of marijuana-based product purchased just hours before from a dispensary in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The people in the car inform troopers the marijuana is medicine. And they try to show their medical marijuana cards. I had the card, okay. Issued by this Toledo doctor. We were operating under the assumption that the law was on our side. The troopers arrest them anyway. But that's not legal in Ohio. All four now face multiple felony counts of possession and trafficking in marijuana and hashish, which is difficult for Darren Elliott, one of the four charged, to comprehend. Next thing we know, we get things in the mail, indicted on charges, and we're facing 33 years in prison. What Darren and the others relied on is something called the affirmative defense. Simply speaking, that means if Darren and the others adhered to the guidelines of the new law, there should be no legal consequences. But when it comes to this law, like so many others here at the Ohio State House, it's never quite that simple. The bill's just the framework, so if you fit within the framework, uh, you could apply affirmative defense. State Senator David Burke, a pharmacist who was one of the lead legislators behind Ohio's medical marijuana law, stated in October of 2016, willing physicians are in the free and clear to recommend cannabis and would be covered by affirmative defense. But when I found Senator Burke just days ago in the hallway of the State House, he told me only courts can decide if you're truly covered. Not the judicial branch. You'd have to look at what the law says and apply affirmative defense into the bill the way it's written. Are you worried about the confusion this creates? No. What about the people who need it and are using it? Well, again, looking at affirmative defense, if you apply the bill to your affirmative defense, the court would have to decide whether or not you fit in those parameters. So according to lawmakers, the case of the four from Cincinnati is where it belongs. Even if a doctor... No one else is questioning what we do except this court on this day. And his patients... I need a free to leave. ...thought medical marijuana cards... I had the card. ...were enough to cover them. Yeah, right, main silent, and Ironically, this case could be decided after September. That's when the state medical marijuana program is scheduled to officially begin, which means everyone with a medical marijuana card issued by the state at that point will not have to use any defense at all. I'll tell you what happens next. I'm Dwayne Pullman, local.